Hello my dears welcome to today's video in this video you will learn a beautiful poem named as the stolen boat written by a renowned nature poet william wordsworth the poet once steals a boat and takes it for a ride however things change with the sudden appearance of a mountain and the merry ride soon turns so The poem is written in free verse. Let's begin the poem. One summer evening, led by her, I found a little boat tied to a willow tree. Within a rocky cave, its usual home, straight I unloosed her chain, and stepping in, pushed from the shore. It was an act of stealth, and troubled pleasure. nor without the voice of mountain echoes did my boat move on leaving behind her still on either side small circles glittering idly in the moon until they melted all into one track of sparkling light but now like one who rose proud of his skill to reach a chosen point with an unshivering line i fixed my view upon the summit of a craggy ridge the horizon's utmost boundary far above was nothing but the stars and the gray sky one summer evening nature led the poet to a willow tree where a boat was tied the boat was alluring and the poet decided to take it for a ride the experience was thrilling but the poet could not spurn the fact that what he was doing was wrong he called it a troubled pleasure as the poet propelled forward the stars and moon casted their glistening glow on the water's surface and they all melted into a single track of sparkling light rowing forward he fixed his view on the highest point of a rocky ridge to move in an unshivering and straight track she was an elfin pinnace lustily i dipped my oars into the silent lake and as i rose upon the stroke my boat went heaving through the water like a swan when from behind that craggy steep till then the horizons bound a huge peak black and huge as if with the voluntary power instinct appeared its head i struck and struck again and growing still in a stretcher the green shape towered up between me and the stars and still for so it seemed with purpose of its own and measured motion like a living thing strode after me with the trembling oars i turned and through the silent water stole my way back to the covert of the willow tree the environment created beautiful scenery and the poet could not help but think of the boat as a fairy as the boat heaves through the water the poet compares it to a swan gliding gracefully the poet's cheerful ride was sailing smoothly until a black and a huge mountain appeared and obstructed his view of the stars as the poet rode forward the mountain seems to chase him it frightened him and awakened his conscience no longer able to enjoy the ride and disregard this feeling of guilt and fear the poet with a trembling oars turned and wandered back to the willow tree's covert there in her mooring place i left my bark and through the meadows home ward went in the grave and serious mood but after i had seen 
that the spectacle for many days my brain worked with a dim and undetermined sense of unknown modes of being over my thoughts there hung a darkness call it solitude or blank desertion no familiar shapes remained no pleasant images of trees of a sea or sky no colors of green fields but huge and mighty forms that do not live like a living man moved slowly through the mind by day and were a trouble to my dreams he left the boat back in its place and set off towards his house in a grave and serious mood the sight that he had witnessed haunted his nightmares and replaced where the pleasant images of trees and colored green fields with the huge and mighty forms of the mountain this mountain was his conscience he was plagued by guilt and that very emotion overpowered all his thoughts and solitude even after indulging in sinful pleasure the poet could not disregard his conscience and the following guilt that surfaced so strongly that it appeared in the form of a daunting mountain chasing him this one event stirred a significant change in him and reformed his personality